Hi, my name is Clark. I'm with Schwartz Industries, and uh, today we're going to introduce you to the Schwartz Supervac Aero parking lot sweeper. This is kind of a two-in-one sweeper. Uh, what I mean by that is this, this sweeper comes mounted on this pull-behind trailer, as you see here, or it will also slide into the back of any pickup truck, basically a high-size pickup truck or larger. Uh, Supervac Aero is great for sweeping parking lots, uh, parking lot type trash, such as paper, leaves, bottles, cigarette butts, broken glass, things like that. The engine that we use on the Supervac Aero is a 22 horsepower Robin Subaru. It has plenty of horsepower to run the unit. Uh, it turns a 20 inch six blade fan, uh, which creates the airflow, which creates your suction power. Gas tank here, it's a five gallon gas tank, and that's plenty enough fuel to give you anywhere from around four to six hours of sweeping each time. Trailer that comes equipped with uh, LED lights and it also has brakes. Uh, you've got a six prong plug in to connect to your truck light. Another feature of the Supervac Aero is the curb blower. The curb blower is designed to blow the trash uh, away from the curb lines as you go by and then it blows it underneath the sweeper unless the sweeper pick it up once the truck passes. Uh, the curb blower actually is designed to work a little bit better for the unit that slides into the back of the truck where the driver of the truck can hold it out the window. Uh, however, you can make a special bracket that will fit on the trailer to blow the curb lines uh, in front of the sweeping head as you go. Another feature of the Supervac Aero is it does have a dust control system. It's got a 25 gallon water tank located here and it has a gravity feed water system down to the sweeping head so if you're sweeping in a real dusty condition and you need to control that dust, you can uh, utilize the water system to take care of that. Another feature of the Supervac Aero is a, air, is a backpack holder, a backpack rack. Uh, this is located right here. Uh, if you don't have room in the back of your pickup truck for a backpack board, uh, you can actually strap it on right here. It straps on real tight, snug. Uh, the hopper capacity is two, two cubic yards. Uh, the hopper is made out of heavy duty uh, polyethylene. Uh, it's very durable. Uh, we have some of these same type units that have been out in the field since the mid 1980s with this uh, polyethylene hopper, and it's uh, basically you can't destroy it. Uh, they hold up real well. Uh, you get a, a lot of long life out of this hopper. And moving to the back of the Super Back Arrow here, uh, the rear end, we've got LED lights in the back. Uh, this is your, uh, your dump door area. Uh, and also your sweeping head. Sweeping head is a 78 inch sweeping head. Uh, it has uh, your skid plate, it has a skid plate on each side, and then on the bottom of the skid plate are carbide, uh, carbide chips to keep from wearing out as they rub along, rub along the uh, asphalt. Uh, the sweeping head is a three flap system. On the sweeping head, we have a, uh, an air bleeder. Uh, the air bleeder allows you to adjust the airflow it goes across the sweeping head to meet your different sweeping conditions. For example, if you're sweeping real light material like light paper or uh, dry leaves, uh, if you open the leaf, this uh, air bleeder door up just a little bit, it exhausts a little air out, which gives you more suction power across the width of the sweeping head. Uh, again, that's designed for real light material. Uh, should you be sweeping something like uh, wet paper, maybe wet leaves where you need a little more air going across the sweeping head. Close the door off and we'll push more air down across the sweeping head over to the suction tube that's on the driver's side of the unit. The Super Black Aero has 10 inch suction tubes and blow side tubes. Uh, the suction side of the sweeper is on, is on the driver's side and then on the blow down side where it blows the air down it also has a 10 inch tube. All right, now we're going to go over a little bit on how to operate the Supervac Aero. It's very simple, very easy to operate. Uh, again, this unit, you've already got it mounted onto the trailer. You've got it hooked up to the truck, got your trailer lights and everything plugged in. Now you're ready to go sweep. So the first step is you come back to the sweeping head, and the sweeping head is located basically on a, uh, uh, on a crank right here. You lower the sweeping head all the way to the pavement, and it'll just free fall. And uh, now the sweeping head is set and it's ready to go. Now that you've got the sweeping head lowered on the pavement, uh, you're ready just to uh, uh, choke the engine. You've got the throttle set. It's got an electric start. Uh, and it also has a tachometer and an hour meter. You just fire it up.
throw sweep in the lot. We've, uh, we've cut the sweeper motor off. Now you're ready to pick the sweeping head up, go to your next lot. It's real simple. You can just come back to the rear. Come to your trailer jack. Start bringing the sweeping head up. And if you'll pull on the back of the sweeping head and tilt the front of the head forward just a little bit, it'll allow the sweeping head to come, come on up, come flush, get your head stopped. Now to open the doors, you have, you have basically had four latches. You've got two doors and four latches. Just loosen the latches on the top door. The top door will lift up. And then you have a prop rod to prop the door up. And then it also has a bottom door with a seal. Unloosen the latches on it. Now this is how you access the unit to rake it out or shove it out. Gives you, gives you a lot of room in here. Real easy to get to to either rake it out or shove it out. Now also on the inside is the screen. Have a, a, a easily removable slide in, slide out screen. Uh, so whenever the screen gets, gets plugged with debris, you need to clean it out to keep your airflow up. Just simply slide it out, wash it out, and slide it back in. Then once you get ready to sweep again, Bring the bottom door up. Nice and close enough with the handle. Reposition the prop rod. Drop the top door. Bring the handle back in. Now you've got it locked up and sealed and it's, and it's ready to go sweep. Uh, taking a look at the Schwartz Super Back Arrow Sweeper today. Uh, if you have any questions or would like more information on this sweeper or any of our other sweepers, please give us a call at 1-800-879-7933. Thank you.